Hi everyone, today I'm going to be swatching all of my ColourPop Ultra Matte Lipsticks. I'm going to be doing a quick review on them and sort of show you the product. I haven't worn all of them so I can't give you a review on all of them, but on the ones that I've tried, I'll let you know how long it lasts and how, you know, the quality is for each because they do vary depending on the color. So I'm going to do that and let's get started with the video. Right now I have Trap on and Trap is a cool tone, sort of light purple nude color and it's a really pretty color um, however this does crack a little bit on my lips more than the other colors you can see more of my fine lines with this lip color I don't know if it's because it's such a light color that um, it emphasizes on my like fine lines but this does emphasize on my fine lines so beware of that but this is the color trap Called beeper and beeper is a really nice mid-tone brown it looks really nice I think for different skin tones depending on your skin tone if you're lighter it will look more dark brown and if you're in the darker complexion then it will look a lot more nude I think it's really pretty I think it emphasizes beautifully on a lot of skin tones I wore this out and it does look really really nice it does not crack like trap so it doesn't really emphasize on my fine lines. It's really easy to reapply. So I really like this color a lot and it will last you a long time. Uh, even eating, it will just kind of a little bit come off in the middle, but it's really easy to just use your finger. So use the applicator again and kind of reapply and it doesn't look cakey or doesn't get like any like uh, flaky or anything like that. So I really like this color and as you guys can see, it's a really, really beautiful mid-tone brown. So I love this color a lot. This one is called Chili Chili, and as you guys can see, it's a more medium, a little bit more in the darker purple, beautiful color. What I want to say is that whatever you see in the like tube is not what you're going to get. Most of these come out more dark, so just keep that in mind. But this one's more of a purple, really, really beautiful color. I think it looks amazing on my lips, and this is another one that I've used before when I go out and it doesn't emphasize on the fine lines as well I use a lip balm whenever I go out and whenever I want to use these and although they become a little bit less super drying they are going to last a little bit less because I am putting sort of a you know a soft lip balm underneath however I do want my lips to be more comfortable so I don't mind that they don't last super long but I mean these last still a long long time when I do put a lip balm they last about six hours which I think it's great a really great uh, time So the swatches are getting really bad because these are really, really hard to take out from my lips. And I'm using coconut oil, but my lips are getting burned. So this one's number four, and this one's called Bumble. So excuse the way that it's swatched. Um, but you can see the color. It's really beautiful, kind of like orangey, a mid-tone orange pink. It's a really beautiful uh, color. I think it's really wearable for a lot of people as well. And this will be a great spring summer color. I think it's beautiful. I really, really love this. This is another color that I wore outside. And it does last a long time. It does not crease or like sink into the fine lines of my lips. And as you guys can see, it's right here as well. I will do a uh, zoom in of the color. Stingray and this was a collaboration by uh, a YouTuber. I do watch her. I forgot her name, but I think it's Ray Ray. I think that's her YouTube name. Uh, this reminds me a lot of the color um, Beeper. And as you guys can see, it's also a dark, more darker, um, a little bit more darker than uh, Beeper, but it's still in that kind of brown purple. It looks really nice, uh, but it's really similar. So I don't think you need Beeper and Stingray. 
uh, because they're really similar but here it is really gorgeous also a more of a darker purple but beautiful color nonetheless called tool and tool is a dusty mauve kind of like burgundy color really pretty I love this color a lot and yeah this one's a little bit drying so it does show on the fine lines but other than that it's a great color so this one's called tool Limbo is a dark chocolate brown. The only problem is that it's very patchy and I had to apply two coats of it. But other than that, it's a beautiful brown color. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, don't forget to like it. And other than that, thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys soon. Bye. Folks, it's time to kick it old school.